In this video, we will learn how to use layout elements. Layout elements are user interface or UI that help with structuring a form. We will implement layout elements in one of our tables to make the form visually more appealing and more functional. Let's start. In our management system database, we will open the invoices table. To be more precise, a form view of invoices table. After activating a wrench, we can see at the bottom of the page layout element section. Another way to add the layout element is activating a gear, choosing edit fields, and on the right side panel under layout element, we can simply drag and drop the element to the field panel. So you can choose between these two ways of reaching layout elements. You can use whatever approach you like more. Our first layout element is tab. In forms, two tabs are created automatically. The first tab is named after the table. It includes all the data fields. The last one it's marked with the file icon and you can upload as many file attachments here as you want. More tabs can be added manually. You can change the type name. We can call it invoice details. And also we can give it a color. Very cool. But what if we want to change a color of existing form? In that case, we simply need to drag label of a tab on the top of the field panel. And we add a color. You can interchange data fields between tabs using drag and drop. Simply drag a data field onto the label of the tab you want to move it to. Very cool, right? If you want to delete a tab, choose the operation delete tab from the tab menu. The data fields will be removed to a previous tab. You can see that concat field is moved back here. Let's return it where it was. Linux spread the data fields over four columns. One data field can be between one and four columns wide. The field width is calculated automatically and can be changed manually in the field attributes. The basic structure of a form is determined by the data fields and layout elements and their order is defined in the table settings. Okay, let's move on to another element and that is a line break. A line break is a drag and drop element we use to separate field into a new line. So we simply drag and drop. Another layout element is space. Space leaves one or more column empty. Modification of the width and the height is possible. Another layout element is a head. Include head to better organize your table. Heads divide the form visually into different areas or can be used as a title. 
in our case we're gonna use header as let's say a title of our form we can also customize the header based on your personal preferences in our case so we gonna make font bold and the border double we can also change the background color hit ok and our changes are saved we can also position in the center Another layout element, it's a free text. Free text, it's a simple text field without the border. Button, it's a great example of automation of business processes. We already have two buttons in this form. Send an email and generate PDF. In this video, we have learned how to use layout elements. Now we know what Ninox UI elements are as tab, line break, space, header, and a button. The form can now be personalized with a better overview and automated. Congrats! Ninox.